Hey, what's up, guys? This is Real Chief 74 speaking, and welcome back to another special episode here on my channel. As always, my name is Mike, and in today's video, I have a little treat for you guys because we are going to be taking a look at the Lionel 282 gantry crane, which I purchased at the York train meet of last year. What made this accessory very unique was that this was the first operating crane to feature a portal through the center of the base, which allowed you to park a train underneath without taking up a whole lot of space on the layout. The operating portal gantry crane was made by Lionel through 1954 through 1957. Now there is also a lot of history to talk about when it comes to this action-packed accessory. For example, there are four flanged wheels at the bottom of the legs which were supposed to slide across a section of track which Lionel has never produced back then. Gargraves actually does make a special track section, which is made specifically for this accessory. If you cut a section of straight track in half, it also makes a really good substitute. There are also two different variations of the 282. This model, which I have on the table here, was made through 1954 through 1955. It featured a gray smokestack, which was painted and then glued onto the cab. The cab is also placed in the center with two screws on the bottom, and then the magnet on the hook is painted black. The second variation was made through 1956 through 1957 with some slight changes. The most notable change was they swapped over from a black magnet to a silver magnet. The cab also snapped into place this time, and it also featured a black smokestack which was molded into the plastic. It also did feature the suffix R on the side, which stood for re-release. One last thing to mention is that the 282 gantry cranes do not feature the light bulb inside the cab, and they also do not feature the pulley system.
All right, well, this has been a very fun demonstration and I hope you guys have enjoyed as well. The 282 gantry crane is a very cool operating accessory and it also adds something a little bit different to a small layout. And even though it might not be as sturdy as the 165 or the 182 were, it's a very handsome looking accessory and I've always wanted one of these my entire life, ever since I started watching I Love Toy Trains as a kid. Now, as an ending side note, I did add the pulley system a little while back just to add a little bit more detail to the crane and I still need to do a little bit more work on the magnet to get it to work properly. But I'll definitely keep you guys posted in case anything comes up. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, don't forget to hit the notification bell down below for any other projects that I upload. But until next time, thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks again, and take care.